All right, welcome back to Eternal Darkness. Uh, this thing's probably gonna kill me, um, especially if he's hitting over, over desks and shit. Ow! Thank you. That's nice. Can I get through here? I can get through here. Okay. Ow! That's damage. Ow! This is this is a good fight so far. I'm definitely going to die. So he's like sapping my sanity, I guess. I'm just gonna keep hitting him. Um, it, it says to hit him from the back, but uh, it doesn't seem to be too easy so far. Just have to kind of keep out of his range. And then get him hit when I can. He's like, I, I can't do anything. <laughs> Maybe, um. Eh. I'm thinking about switching weapons because I don't need as much of like a wind up. But. Oh, I killed him already? That didn't take very long. Okay. Huh. Well, my sanity is uh, is gone. I can go a little bit back. Uh, don't have very much health. The walls are bleeding. Uh, <laughs> so this is kind of your first... First glimpse of what happens with uh, with Sandy here in this um, stuff will just happen, and uh, you won't be sure if it's the game, or if it's your character Sandy level. Oh, or if you're gonna die. Don't hit the wall, man! Don't hit the wall, man! Oh my God! I'm, I'm just gonna die in a second. Away. Okay. There were only three in this room, right? My sanity's like super slowly coming back up there. Anybody else in here? How's uh, Mr. Dead Guy? He's still dead? Time to go into the bishop's room to warn Charlemagne. I expect he's not alive, though. Just a guess. Muffled voices emanate from the inside of the chamber. Okay. And use the key. No! Oh, he's dead as shit. for trying to save him, Anthony. His fate was decided many centuries ago. Thanks, guys. You the suck. fate of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Zealot. Yup. Okay. So I guess that's what happened to the other monk. Friendly people. Okay. Yeah, what? Oh, wait. I have magic now. My sanity is low? Not sure why it should be, but I guess it is. Um, do I have this spell? I do have this spell. And I can fix this key now. I don't think there's anything else I can do in this room for now, but at least now I can get up to the second floor, so let's head up there. Hello? No, not that one. This one. Who is knocking? It's a bird? Got just use the goddamn key. Alright, now on the second floor. Hello, doggy statue. Painting. More painting. More painting. Okay, what do we got up here? Bedroom. Anything useful? Painting. 
painting. Oh, a chapter page. Okay, grab that. The Gift of Forever. Sounds delightful. Not going to do that just yet. want to explore a little bit more. Pick up what? Oh, ammo. Okay, for a gun. Cool. Something else to examine here? Another picture. Not sure what's that. Next room. Oh. Grandpa? You are not Grandpa. You are a fat king. Are you Charlemagne? It's too dark in here to do anything. Perhaps the circuit has been broken. Oh. I can't just try to go in there. This looks like a friendly door. Ow. That actually hurt me. Okay. The stained glass depicts a glowing medieval maiden, luminous even with the faint light of the setting sun. The maiden clasps a piece of parchment in her hands. The window gives Alex a strange feeling, almost as if it was is magical. I don't like that they spell magic with a K. And not really there. A glowing field of energy protects the window. So I need that thing? Somehow? Okay, so this way? Oh, hello. No, not the not the bust. You wait. Okay, Dick, don't look at me. It's not cool. Cabinet. I had a cabinet, a key to a cabinet. No, not this one. Pick up more ammo. Okay. Eventually, I'll probably hopefully get a gun to go with it. More picture. Alex questions the presence of a lush landscape amidst these other morbid pieces. Could it be a single ray of hope encircled by the encroaching darkness? Or it could just be, you know, like a something hidden behind it, maybe? Hmm. Burns. One of the drawers in the dresser curiously has no keyhole. In its place is a small triangular design flanked by a magical symbol. Okay. That looks like the symbol of power that I had, but I don't have it now because I'm not that other guy. Um, yeah, it doesn't. Oh, same spell. Door. Bathroom. Oh, okay. Why? Who this? Oh, pick up. Okay, I thought it was going in the <laughs> in the toilet. Journal of Maximilian Morvis. Did that affect my sanity at all? Seems like it should have. Don't think it did. It, it's getting annoying, man. I don't know how to refill my sanity at the moment. New Mr. Statue can fuck right off. Um... Oh, look, the wall's bleeding. That's nice. Well, I guess I can start the chapter from pretty much anywhere in the house. I don't think I need to be in the, uh... in the actual area. This is a page from Maximilian's journal. It reads, Everything that brightened my life now engulfed me in the darkness. I fed on the light of truth, yet starved in the shadows of lies. I have learned through my lifetime, but no less than a newborn baby. Okay. Time to use this one. Appears to be a page from the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Should I read it? Yes. Dreams. Modern psychology offers only unproven theories. Some see them as the meaningless tossing and turning of a brain settling into a restful sleep. Others see them as laden with symbols of our unconscious desires. To still others, dreams represent the upwelling of the archetypes, normally hidden deep within the recesses of the human collective unconscious. Of one thing I am certain. After a brush with the ancients, our dreams metamorphosize into nightmares. It's going to be the... Uh... Roman guy again? He was in Persia, wasn't he?
I'm upset that you've chosen black clothing for the hot desert sun. Yet you ignore all my advances. She's probably not into you then, dude. Get over it. Time to move on. Nothing else. I fear I desire sucks, but just gotta do it. Times more than you love me. My life has become a waking dream, Kareem. For weeks, I have dreamed of an ancient treasure so precious that it changes all life around it. It must be mine, Kareem. Maybe if it's not real. Desire me, as you say. Don't look that way. That looks weird. You Your neck's all belief. like strange. Your head's Bring too small. This treasure to me, and I will be yours. Or perhaps your shoulders are too wide. I need just something off about the character model. You. you have enthralled me to the point where I can think of nothing else. Promise, if I leave, you will not forget about me. You need not worry. I desire nothing more than the treasure that you seek. Leave now, Kareem, and I so, shall. So not me. Oh, it's the same stones, I think. Mm hmm. Yeah. At least all these people have swords. Nothing else seems to work on these things. Okay, what do we got? Nothing. That's my sanity. Perfect. Wait, what is that? What does that do? Is it a healing thing? Long life on those that have kept it. Yeah, it restores health. Okay. Are you... Distance weapon? Okay. Interesting. Kind of give them, starting to give me stuff instead of just starting me with nothing. Hello? You were very dead. Are you a, like, European conqueror? Man's corpse lies fallen. Wounds cover the exposed flesh of his body where his armor was, has failed. Yeah, I guess... Maybe. That's an axe. Can I have that? I can't have that, really. There's another axe. Alright, well, down we go. Oh boy. Oh, this is the... Okay, interesting. Cradle blood appears to be over your hand. Yep, that's the same thing. I just say no. I just leave. I just walk off this edge? I cannot. Oh. Hello, Anthony. That's... There's a couple points for statues here. Who are you? You're not dead, though. Right? You might not be dead. This is... This is definitely Pius. Yep. He destroyed the statue. I see. Interesting. So this one's for me. And then we've got... Four more spots here? Okay. Yeah. Doesn't bode well for me, does it? I mean, I'm also a couple thousand years in the past, so I'm totally dead anyways. Oh, good. Are you a tiny one? Oop, oh, oop, oh, run away. Run away. Run away. You. Okay, maybe maybe just one hit is necessary. That's all it took for the others. Ow, dick. I feel like my health bar is larger, but I'm not sure. Is that everybody? Okay. Oh, now I need to actually go down. All right. Such a friendly tunnel. Anything over here? 
Nope. So far, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Like, it's, it's not super tough, um, but it's still interesting. It's got a good, like, interesting narrative going on. Okay. okay. Um, I'm interested to see where the story goes. I don't really have any guesses just yet. I mean, I'm probably going to win, but... A statuette vaguely, vaguely resembling a man stands, stands atop a low pedestal. Okay. It's probably going to be used to weigh something down. You know, knock your head off before you even stand up, fool. And then hit the wall a whole bunch of times. Everybody's dead? You know what? Oh, we're yeah, okay. So do I have the same runes that Anthony had? Or is it going to be like one spell per character? Okay. Do this one, and then I'll do this one. And who knows what this does? It didn't work. Okay. Do this one. This one. And then this one. Nothing. This one. This one. Nope. It's not going to work, is it, until I find something new? Okay, well, whatever. That's fine. Is that a ladder? It's a ladder. Does it go anywhere? No? Okay. I'm looking forward to, uh, to fall, actually. An arcane shrine dominates the room, but is surround its edge while a larger one tops its summit. No doubt each one would be filled with incense to facilitate prayer to insidious deities. Um, I, I really like fall. Fall is a very nice um, kind of time of year, but uh, unfortunately up here in Vancouver it turns to just like endless days of rain and darkness very quickly, so... Sometimes we get nice weather until November, and then the rain starts to really pick up then. Um, it tends to rain to like, almost February sometimes. Oh, that's a bunch of people. Back into the hall I go. And one at a time, please. Oh, that's... Okay, I'll kill him. Unfortunate, but that's okay. I'm gonna grab this room here. It's not the one that I have though, is it? It's a cliff. A statuette vaguely resembling man stands atop a little pedestal. Yeah, okay, so we got a black one and a white one. So what do I do with them? Do I put the white one here? Do they go in this room? Hmm. So I've got the one ladder there and the one over here that I came in on. What do I do with these thingies? Okay. It's heavy. Also heavy, so it's gonna weigh something down, but what does it weigh down? I'm wondering if it's all the way back, like where I got it. No. No. Is it the first room? I didn't see anywhere obvious to put these things. Nope. Hmm. This? I can probably examine it. I mean, it's probably that altar in the middle of the room or something to do with it, but... I'm not sure. Really nothing. 
Is there something to do with the spell that I picked up, maybe? Hmm, guess not. Hmm. I miss a direction. Ah, torch. Okay, can I take torch? Okay. So what does that do for me? Oh, I can light stuff upstairs. That's what it's going to do. How to light? How to light you? The fuck, man. Really? Okay, well, I will figure out what to do between episodes, and uh, we will come back and continue on with the story from here. This isn't like a ladder, right? No? Okay. Alright, well, anyways, thanks for joining me, guys. I will see you next time.